In this video, we're going to look at display managers and how to secure them. If you're a Cyber Patriot competitor, this is a good video to sort of reference, I think. I'm on Ubuntu 20.04. My default display manager is GDM. Now, if you don't have GDM, we're going to make sure that you have it installed. The first move that we need to sort of make on this system is do an add user twice and just add a couple of users. So I added a user called Sue and a user called Joe. Here I am in the home folder. And I can verify that with cat Etsy password as well. By cat Etsy password, we can see down here at the bottom we have Joe. This is going to be important later with a user ID of 1001 and Sue with a user ID of 1002. And they both have bin bash as their shell. So we have two valid users on the system. So get to that point. Um, do a CD Etsy GDM3. Now, if that works, you're good to go. You're ready to move forward with me. If that doesn't work, you're going to need to do an apt install uh, GDM. We're going to install GDM. Okay, so either way, we need to get to Etsy GDM3, because that's where we're going to start. We'll switch to a different display manager, LightDM, after we configure this one. Let's look at the default behavior first. Now, I have mine set to auto login. So up at the very top on VirtualBox here, we're going to choose power off logout, wherever that may be. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose log out. I'm going to pause the video while it goes through that. I will log out. So we have uh, a series of users here. This is our display manager that's going to allow us to log in. And we can see all the users on the system. Uh, you definitely do not want to see a guest account here for a secure setting. We'll talk about how to make sure that's all disabled. We also have access to the widgets up here at the top, networking, the ability to power it off and log it out. So without any authentication to the system at all, just by standing in front of it, we know what users can log in and we have some access to do some things. So we want to lock this down a little bit. This is a little too much information up front here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log in as my primary user. I'm going to pause the video while we log in here. And after logging in, I'm going to do a sudo su and I'm going to drop back to Etsy GDM3 and let's start to make some changes. So we've got a couple of different files here. We've got some directories like post login and pre session and prime off. Uh, these and X session as well. We're not going to mess with those. There's not a lot in, for example, post login is all commented out. The primary file, uh, excuse me, the primary files we're going to work with are, for example, custom.conf. So let's go ahead and do a pico custom.conf here. We can see that in my case, automatic login uh, is enable is true and the automatic login is students. So what this means is on my system, every time I turn it on, it's going to automatically log me in. It's not going to ask for anything. So that's pretty insecure setting. Now, when we chose to log out, it prompted us for a user. But when the computer is first turned on, it will not. And so this automatic login stuff, um, we probably want to comment that out on a secure system. So you want to look for that. So I'll have a link to this and here's the configuration guide for GDM that kind of talks about what each of these folders are. And I got to this just by looking for GDM security settings. And I chose configuration GNOME library and I'll provide that link. So let's take a look at some of the options that we have here. We just disabled that auto start configuration, but you could also have timed login enabled. And that would mean that it'll count down from 30 seconds and automatically log you in on most live CDs. You're going to see that. Um, we have some IPv6 options here. There's our timed login. The user and group under which GDM runs, and it should run under the GDM user and the GDM group, so that's good. Um, this one I think is interesting down here at the bottom under security. Disallow TCP equals true. I think that's one that we should probably add because unless it's specified that we want to connect to this machine remotely for login, we just need it for local login. So we probably want to disallow TCP and make sure that it's not listening. I think that's probably a pretty good move, right? So I'm going to come down here to security. And looks like because I'm on a virtual machine, I can't do that, but I'll just type it. Uh, disallow. 
and it was uh, TCP all one word equals true. So there's a good setting that we can kind of drop in there. Now we still have some other issues here. I'm just going to save it at that point. I encourage you to review that particular one. Let's pico the greeter deconf defaults because that's the screen that we were looking at. And this is where we were seeing the user list, list and whatnot. And so we can go through and we can change uh, the background. We can change what that looks like. And that can be kind of fun. If you have a lot of different computers, you want to sync them all up so they have default greeter backgrounds. Uh, that can be kind of cool. Uh, we have logos. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's disable the user list so we don't see that. Um, we could do things like disable the restart button. There's some of that interactivity that I was talking about. Let's say the banner message. Uh, let's go ahead and provide one of those. And I could put something like, uh, you want to put something that is legally binding. You know, if there's ever an issue, you can say, look, there was a banner message that said, you know, unauthorized use prohibited. So having set all of that, you also would want to, Research for GDM3 security as well. Hit Control O, we're going to exit and let's go ahead and restart this. Now, if I were to just log out, we would not see the change. So I'm going to do a system CTL restart GDM and it's going to log me out and it's going to restart our greeter here. I'm going to pause the video while it comes up. And so now under GDM, we have a much more secure setting here. Um, I can still, it looks like I've lost access up here to a lot of things. We've got our banner up here, unauthorized use uh, permitted. I cannot see what users, there's no user list. So I can log in. We are good to go. So you've got that set up. And this is if you're in our classes. We're going to CD to Etsy GDM3 and we'll go ahead and just uh, cat the uh, deconf, the gdm.deconf uh, greeters file here. If I got that right, we'll take a look at the, at the list. And uh, the instructor will just check for secure settings there. So here it is. You're going to cat Etsy GDM greeter.deconf hyphen defaults. And we'll look for secure settings and we'll give you credit for checkpoint one. Uh, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to install light DM and we're going to look at how to secure that particular display manager.